James Hurd of Rifle TV in association with Matt Pins, Jim Marbao, Wit, and Anthony Joshua v Dominic Brazil. With me, I've got John Wayne Hibbert. Commiserations, John. Tough night's work for you tonight, mate. Great fight, but uh, unlucky with the result. Can you talk to me a little bit about the fight? It's always a great fight, mate. You're never in a mean? bad fight, to be fair, John. Um, you know what, James? I can't, there's nothing I can say, really, you know. Um, before we before we went out to the ring, I was, I was I felt flying. I felt really good. I, you know, I've had the longest camp. I've had the best camp. Um, there's nothing that I can turn around and say, you know, any chinks in my arm or anything. It's, it is the way it is. It just didn't go for me tonight. I'm devastated, really. But you know, it's just it's just one of them things. Fair play to Andrea Scarpa. He's, he was very awkward, you know, heavy-handed, and it's just just the way it is. You know, it's, I'm devastated because. Uh, Obviously, you know, there was, there was a big fight hopefully lined up for after this and, you know, it's just, it's just one of them things. Unfortunate for yourself, you suffer, suffered a really bad cut to your right eye, probably in the first, in the second, second round? Second, yeah, In second the second round, round yeah, yeah. a lot of blood coming out of that through the round. It must have been hard to deal with throughout <coughs> to, the fight for yourself. To be honest with you, um, for most of that fight, from the second round onwards, I, was, I could not see, it, it weren't, I can't, it weren't blood, it was, my eye was just completely blurred. I don't know whether I've got Vaseline in my eye or, or what, but I just could not see for most of the, uh, for, for most of it, you know, it's really blurred. But, you know, take nothing away from Scarpa, he, he turned up to England, you know, he come here and, and he won the, won the um, WBC silver, you know, fair play to him. It's a great title to go and win and, and hopefully he can go on and do bigger and better things. You've obviously been on a great run of results on Sky. We've enjoyed following your career all the way through the ups and downs and to get from the Civic Hall to the yeah, big stage and that. It's been a fantastic journey so far, isn't it? It's been massive, you know. I've just said to my team, um, yeah, you know, like Lev said, it's, I've just been beat, you know. Um, and I've, I've said, I don't know what I'm going to do now. And they said, look, take, don't, don't shout anything yet. Just take your time. But to me, you know, I've got two little kids indoors. I just spoke to my little girl and and she just said to me, she went, Daddy, as long as, you know, you tried your hardest, it, it, it killed me, you know, and I can't get going home like this to me, it ain't fair on them, so I'm just going to wait and see. I'm going to have a couple of weeks off, <laughs> let these whacking great cuts are ill on my face, and, um, you know, go and, I just spoke to Barry, go, go, and go to Barry and Eddie, have a cup of tea, go and sit, see what they have to say. If it ain't for me, then maybe I'll quit a day, but if there's something big in the pipeline, then who knows, you know? I think it'd be a real shame if you call it a day, mate, because you said you've always been in real fantastic fights. You're never in a bad scrap. Nah, and don't think you should make a decision on the back of one tough night's work, you know? Exactly, you know, and maybe I probably shouldn't be saying it now, but it's just it's just how I feel at the moment. Um, I'm I'm pretty gutted, you know what I mean? And, and I think speaking to me little girl, you know, when she just said that, it just made me well up, man, and it's just, it's just, it's just, it's tough, you know, little kids and that, it's, it's not fair for their, for their daddy to be on telly getting cut, but, you know, it's one of them things, it's what I do, you know, like, like you said, I'm always in a good fight, um, it keeps, I, I love boxing, I love fighting, it's just, it's the way I am, but, just gonna have to wait and see, James. Fantastic support again for you tonight, the boys certainly turned up, big message to all your friends, family and everyone before we go, mate. Listen. I just want to thank my whole team, Lee Mears, um, Satch, Cole Greaves, Alex Bredin, you know, Lee Eaton. I just want to thank my whole team, my support, my sponsors. I won't go into the sponsors because there's that many, so we'll be here for half hour. But, you know, <laughs> don't, everyone, don't me, mate. You're on. everyone that's been there for me, um, the sponsors have helped me out so I can train full time. My team get me in the best condition. You know, I really appreciate that, and, and I'm sorry, sorry the way it went tonight. But you know, it's one of them things. Some you win, some you lose. Um, you know, credit to Scarpa, credit where credit's due. And um, I'll have a couple of weeks off and, and make a decision after that. John, I thought you handled yourself impeccably tonight in defeat. Gracious as always. Thank you for talking to Apple TV, mate, and I wish you the best of luck going forward with your career from here on in. Thank you, John. Top man, James. Thanks ever so much, buddy. See you soon.